Hey, what's going on guys? Just wanted to, uh, I guess, give a little message just to tell everyone that uh, um, I guess I'm doing okay. So <laughs> I realize I haven't posted anything video wise of me uh, chatting with you guys for a bit, but uh, I guess I've been in the sauce just trying to figure everything out and trying to uh, get everything together. So um, first and foremost, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has supported me, showed me some love, who's visited me, who's hung out with me and everything. Um, I did try to keep that circle a little smaller, so I apologize if I didn't just open that to everyone, but uh, I was definitely just trying to deal with uh, everything that happened and everything that went on. So um, just wanted to say once again, thank you for everyone who you know did anything to see me at the hospital or you know who's hung out with me or who supported my uh, GoFundMe and stuff like that. So. Um, the GoFundMe will definitely help with uh, my uh, escalating uh, hospital bills that I have to deal with uh, after having a stroke. <laughs> so um, I guess dealing with a stroke, to give you a little update on I guess what happened and what what's going on. Um, so in mid-July, um, I, I apologize, I don't remember dates. I'm not good like that, so I don't remember exactly what date it was. but. Uh, Sometime in mid-July, I uh, wasn't feeling good one day. And uh, it's very rare that I'll ever say, like, I need to go see a doctor. So when I hit my uh, best friend up, John, and told him, hey, like, I think I need to go see a doctor because I just don't feel good right now. Um, it was definitely a cause for uh, attention. So we uh, ended up, I don't have a doctor, so we ended up going to a mini merge. Um, and at the mini merge, my blood pressure was so high, they said, no, you need to go to the hospital. So fast forward, we decided to go to JFK, and at JFK, um, they had me there for like four hours plus, um, barely took a look at me, and then gave me some, um, some medicine to take home, and that was it. Um, after that, I still just didn't feel right, I don't know, vibes didn't feel right, and uh, I don't know why, but I decided to, um, we decided to go to Robert Wood Johnson instead. Um, after I got to Robert Wood Johnson, um, everything seemed very fuzzy, I guess you could say, and I don't remember the next couple of days, or I don't remember how long I was kind of out of it, um, but uh, once I was in Robert Wood Johnson, that's actually when I had the stroke, um, and once again, I don't remember everything super well. Um, I'm kind of going off of stories of what people told me, um, and then a couple of days later, I guess I remember, you know, kind of having some tubes connected to my head, and not really sure what was going on, but I was just kind of going through the motions. Um, I guess I didn't realize I had a stroke until like days and days, like almost four or five days after I actually had it. Um, when someone said, oh, because of your stroke. And I'm like, what stroke? I'm like, oh, the stroke you just had a couple days ago. I had a stroke? So um, that was quite confusing, I guess. Um, I guess also uh, my mom, that's how my mom passed away. So. Um, kind of same scenario where she said she didn't feel good, she didn't have a doctor, so she went to Many Merge, Many Merge sent her to the hospital, and then you know she kind of passed away almost right in front of our faces. So for me, hearing that was pretty traumatic. I guess learning that I had a stroke and I guess that I was okay. You know, um, I, I definitely felt really awkward about that. Um, I still to the, to this day I feel kind of awkward that I guess. I don't know if it's guilt, I don't know exactly what it is, but it just feels weird that I guess I kind of went into this super heavy, super crazy event in my life and everything worked out to be okay, so, um, so far. So um, as I mentioned, like, you know, a couple days later, they said I had a stroke and I had um, tubes connected to my head and stuff and they were telling me how they were draining some liquid from my brain um, excess liquid that they needed to uh, do something with. So I had to get a shunt where they actually, there's actually like a, a tube still on my head right now that's draining uh, liquid from my head into my stomach. Um, and uh, yeah, so I had to get that done after the stroke. Um, and then after I had the shunt surgery, like almost a day afterward, they're like, okay, you can go now. I was like, what do you mean I can go? I didn't get that. so. I had to go to, I guess, post-surgery like, rehabilitation, I guess. I guess you could say it is. Um, so that was down in, um, I had to go from New Brunswick down to uh, the Eatontown area to uh, get that done. So um, I was supposed to be there for two weeks, 
But uh, they said I did so well that I, I just had to stay there for a week. And uh, I got out. So um, I was uh, picked up by my sister and some of my family and uh, ended up going home. And that was kind of it. Um, so they said afterward, I'll have to still continue to stay up current with my doctors. Uh, medication is going to be super important for me, making sure I take my medication um, and just watching my blood pressure because my blood pressure is the thing that caused my stroke. So, um, so if you see me at your wedding um, eating something that I shouldn't be, you could smack it out of my hands because uh, I got to watch what I eat and specifically and uh, exercise and things like that once I feel a little bit better. Once again, I guess overall I do feel a little... I don't know what the word is, but I feel awkward that I kind of came out of this unscathed um, with no like lasting effects or anything. I mean, obviously, I'm super grateful and super appreciative that um, nothing happened, that I have no you know, paralysis or anything like that. Um, as I mentioned, my mom, like literally like, when she was going through the stroke, I remember watching her and she was actually like half of her side uh, started freezing up on her. Um, so, you know, remembering that and then kind of going through what I went through was surreal. But I um, have to get back to uh, normal life now. So uh, um, I guess I just wanted to make a video so I guess people could stop asking me how good I, if I'm doing good. <laughs> so, so I guess I haven't put anything out. So I haven't told anyone that I'm doing okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure things out moving forward as to... Uh, what's uh what's my life going to be like you know so um obviously i'm still uh hosting weddings so if you need your wedding to be hosted or know someone please tell them to hit me up i could definitely use some bookings from uh the last couple months of not booking anything <laughs> so but um yeah i'm super glad i guess i'm still taking it all in even though it's been you know a couple weeks since i've been out still just trying to adapt to everything and um yeah, so um, just want to take a second to say hi, tell everyone that I'm okay, that I'm doing good, um, I guess as good as I could be, and uh, I'm super excited to uh, be back, and uh, I hope to uh, catch up with you all soon. Stay amazing.